In this part we will talk about a funny, egg-headed individual of the dog world, the English Bull Terrier. Let's take a look at the seven points that a person thinking about buying a Bull Terrier needs to consider very carefully before making a purchase. The final point will also reveal whether the Bull Terrier is an ideal choice for a novice dog owner. Do not miss the next parts of the series, subscribe to our channel, and also press the bell button. 1. Brief History of the Bull Terrier The history of Bull Terriers began in 19th century England, when animal fights were a form of mass entertainment of people. These fights were banned by the 1835 Animal Act. After that dog fights became popular, and new breeds were formed for this purpose with mixing bulldog with smaller rat catcher terrier breeds. A Birmingham breeder, James Hinks began to formulate the bull terriers, and the basis was the cross-breeding of bulldogs with the since-extinct white English terriers. The new breed that was formed this way was not very successful in T-Dog arenas, but became very popular among the urban society and the lovers of dog shows. First, the bull terriers were completely white, but later on, new color varieties were formed by different hunting terrier crossbreeding. 2. The Personality of the Bull Terrier The English usually usually call the Bull Terrier on two nicknames, one of which is the kid in a dog suit, and the other is the clowns of the dog, which it say a lot about the personality of Bull Terriers. This egg-headed, quirky dog is extremely human and child-friendly, do not tolerate loneliness, their life is revolving around their owner and their family. They are also usually called a busy dog, as they like to deal with something, and if they are not given a task, they find one for themselves. In addition, however, their fighting past has not been forgotten in his nature, they are strongly dominant with other dogs, especially if they are of the same sex and can perform extremely aggressive actions, which does not necessarily have positive consequences, as they are formidable fighters. 3. Bull Terrier Size and Coat the Bull Terrier is a medium-sized dog, typically weighing 20 to 36 kilograms and 40 to 55 centimeters high at the withers. When bred, the base color of Bull Terriers was white, but later several other colors became accepted, such as black, spotted, red, fawn, and tricolor. The coat is short and silky by the touch, interestingly the undercoat does not occur in all specimens, it only develops in certain individuals. 4. Bull Terrier Trainability Regarding the Bull Terrier, it is important to know that even its breeders admit that they are an extremely stubborn breed with a strong will, so their training and teaching is not an easy task. A Bull Terrier has his own opinion, and will about almost everything, diverting their attention, and keeping it under control is not an easy task. Despite all this, the Bull Terrier is an intelligent and sensitive breed, and if they feel like a task, they learn quickly. For this breed, early socialization is above average important, as their strong will certainly tends to call into question the primacy of the owner, and because of their past they are not very friendly with other animals. 5. The Activity Level of the Bull Terrier Being a muscular, high-powered breed, Bull Terriers have a huge need for movement. To keep them properly, the owner needs at least one to two hour of free time a day to properly conduct the energies that rage regularly in this hyperactive dog. By the way, Bull Terriers love all forms of movement from ball throwing to interactive games, but they are also excellent in agility, for example. They love to walk, but letting go of the leash is quite problematic for this breed, as their typical terrier type hunting instincts can pose a potential threat to other pets and, for most of them, playing with other dogs is not feasible. It may help a lot to calm down their activity level if there may be another agile dog in the same household, mainly of a different sex, with whom they can run and wrestle for several hours. 6. Bull Terrier Health and Lifespan Opinions are divided on the average lifespan of Bull Terriers, according to statistics it is in average 12 years. Unfortunately, they are not among the healthiest breeds, and at birth, like other white dogs, they need to be screened for deafness at birth, but also for blindness. They are prone to cardiovascular and kidney diseases, skin, and other allergies. It is worth paying special attention to their proper feeding, as in their case it is a breed that is particularly prone to obesity. And finally the last question, is a Bull Terrier a good choice for a first-time dog owner? Although the Bull Terrier is a truly very human and family-oriented dog breed, as a first dog, 
it is not necessarily recommended for an inexperienced and unprepared owner. Because of their stubbornness, raising and properly socializing a bull terrier requires more attention and experience than in average and, in most cases, they require constant supervision. As mentioned, bull terriers are constantly looking for tasks for themselves and are also extremely curious. To leave a young bull terrier alone in an apartment is quite much like leaving an active child alone in a room full of explosives. It is not recommended for young children, as bull terriers usually play and act at enormous temperatures, which can cause injuries, but in a family where there are young teenage children and who have experiences with dogs, they can an ideal choice as they are tirelessly take part in all adventures and in fun. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button to get notifications of new parts. Thank you very much for your attention.